All right, friends, I'm about to read how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. As I'm reading, your job is to be listening for those four components to make sure that I have my steps and to make sure those steps are going in order because I'm using numbers. And I want you to see if I have pictures that support each step. And I want you to look to see if I have labels to help my reader understand what's going on in the picture. Are you ready to hear how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I sure am. How to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My friend is saying, do you want to know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Step one, get your jar of peanut butter. Be careful that you don't drop the jar. Step two, Open the jar and using a knife, scoop out a knife full of peanut butter. Step three, spread the peanut butter over one piece of bread. Step four, open the jelly jar and use your knife to scoop out some jelly. Step five, spread the jelly over the other piece of bread. Step six, squish the two pieces of bread together. Make sure the peanut butter and jelly are on the inside. Did you make sure that I had those four components in my writing? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But you guys can make yours even better than mine. So make sure you have those four components as you're creating your how-tos. If you can't think of a how-to, maybe think of the things you can do really well and try writing your how-to with the things that you can do really well. Again, kinders, I can't wait to hear what stories you come up with. Happy writing. Bye, kinders.